This week, we visited the Rotan Chocolate Factory in West End, Rotan. We went around 2 p.m. on Saturday, and the shop was busy. The Chocolate Factory is located about halfway down the West End Strip. All right, what did you get? I got coconut and passion fruit. I have dark chocolate and coconut. Kevin, what flavor did you get? Caramel and then coconut in the bottom. Dark chocolate. I got dark chocolate and caramel. Okay, what'd you get? I got dark chocolate and caramel. The caramel was really good. I don't usually get caramel. I don't usually like it. Uh, but this was really caramelly and it was salty. It was just the right amount of saltiness to caramel. Um, it was real creamy as well. So the texture was great. The flavor was great. The caramel was very good. The dark chocolate, however, was not. I don't think it tasted like chocolate at all. And that's really weird because it was from a chocolate factory. The cho dark chocolate was really icy as well, so I did not like the texture of it either. Uh, so I was pretty disappointed with the dark chocolate. If I just had the caramel, I probably would have said a nine or higher, but I, the dark chocolate was no bueno. So I'm gonna give it overall a seven. All right, Charlie, what did you get? I got coconut and passion fruit. Um, it was really good. The coconut was fruity, but you wouldn't know it was passion fruit because like it wasn't like pink or I don't know what passion fruit is, but I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be like pink. But um, it was good. It had like little chocolate pieces inside of it. I don't know why, but it it added to the fruitiness nicely. So I liked that. Um, and then the coconut was probably some of the best coconut ice cream I've ever tasted. It was sweet, but it wasn't too sweet. Like, less sweet than white chocolate. But, and I like coconut, so it was great. And the two together, it was just great. So overall, I'd give it nine. All right, Amy, what flavors did you have and what did you think about them? I had dark chocolate and caramel. And I really wish the caramel had some salt, but it didn't. And the ice cream seemed dry, but I think it's because the spoon was a different texture. <laughs> and, but it was very delicious. Cool. And the right amount of sweet. Did you prefer one over the other? Yes, the caramel. And they didn't give an equal amount of each kind. Mm. They gave me more dark chocolate. Overall, uh, what was your rate at one to 10? Uh, eight scoops out of 10. All right, what did you get? I got coconut and dark chocolate. And? <laughs> I thought they were good. I really preferred the coconut, I think. Uh, okay. uh, the coconut ice cream was very much coconutty. It had shreds of coconut in it, a very good strong coconut flavor. And it wasn't too sweet and it wasn't bland. It was great. It was cold and it kept its texture. It didn't melt. Um, so it was really good. And then the dark chocolate. I think the reason I like the coconut more is just because the flavor stood out more to me than the dark chocolate. The dark chocolate flavor was just more subtle, um, but it was really good. They complemented each other well, and you know, I don't like marshmallowy ice cream, and it wasn't, so I really enjoyed it. I'd probably give it a 8.7 out of 10. All right, Kevin, what did you have, and what do you think about it? The coconut ice cream and the caramel ice cream. Uh, overall, I thought it was good. Um, the flavors were good. I preferred the caramel over the coconut. Um, it was a little soft, but I think that's expected here. It's my first, well, actually, I had ice cream on the other side of the island, and it was also a little soft, uh, but not bad. The texture. It had like um, like ice flakes, um, which I didn't mind, but I did notice. Um, overall, though, 
like that. It was good. Super. Uh, one out of ten, what would you give it? Um, a seven. The factory has limited seating inside and a few tables and chairs outside. The total cost for six people was around $30. Most of the flavors we tried were great. The textures were cold, thick, and mostly creamy. Almost all of the flavors were true to their names and were really good. Four of us tried the dark chocolate. We all agreed the flavor did not stand out and that the texture was dry, chalky, or grainy. The Rotam Chocolate Factory website has a ton of information and includes their hours, location, and general product info. However, it does not feature its ice cream offerings. If you're in Rotam, the Rotam Chocolate Factory will educate, inform, and treat you to good chocolate. This homemade ice cream is pretty good too. Three Scoop says it's pretty good. Let us know in the comments about your favorite local ice cream spot, and if we can, we'll give it a visit. Please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and sticking with us to the end. See you in the next scoop. Pretty good.